space is filled with enormous objects, planets, and probably entities. The planets and moons of our solar system are dwarfed compared to the size of some of these interstellar objects. Scientists are particularly interested in finding, classifying, and quantifying exoplanets. However, this could alter as a result of further research. In our solar system, Jupiter dominates as the largest planet. Its circumference is an astounding 26,992 miles. A heavyweight. Although there is another heavyweight in the vastness of space, the exoplanet ROX 42b is the largest known planet in the cosmos. It is roughly two and a half times the size of Jupiter. Stars that are almost 2,000 times the size of the Sun and supermassive black holes that can rip apart other stars are just two of the many fascinating things to be found in the cosmos. Thinking about planets is much less difficult than thinking about some of the other things in the universe. It's only logical to question whether there are much larger planets out there, given that our solar system has many large planets. That being said, our next step is determining which planet is the largest in the known galaxy. Identifying Greatness Even though the solution seems simple, you need a clear explanation to give these celestial bodies names. Jupiter is a huge gas planet, while Earth is a much smaller rock. Although some things that look like planets are really the leftover pieces of the stars from which they formed. There are a few simple ways to explain what a planet is. Scientists say that planets are nothing more than expanding disks of matter that circle stars. But we need to find a way to look at it so we can talk about it. The good news is that we have a group of people in charge who can give us a simple answer. The International Astronomical Union says that an object must show or do the following three things to be considered a planet. To follow the path of an orbiting star, it must be heavy enough so that gravity can keep it round. Its orbit must be big enough so that it doesn't touch the star as it goes by. At first, this idea caused a lot of debate because it didn't include Pluto as one of the planets in the solar system. But this definition removes several disputed celestial bodies, which is very helpful. Lastly, we should think about what the word exoplanet means. Extrasolar planets, also called exoplanets, are planets that are not in our solar system. The biggest planet on this list is definitely not in our solar system. The largest ever discovered. Measuring things from space that are very far away is hard and could go terribly wrong. If you watch how much light a planet blocks when it moves in front of a star, you can figure out how big it is. When figuring out the size of a planet, scientists often use Jupiter as a standard. 1 RJ is equal to 43,441 miles to measure such immense giants, which is the distance around Jupiter. So, this system of measurements will be used when talking about the biggest planets. Scientists can figure out a planet's mass by watching how its speed changes, depending on how close it is to other stars. By using this information to figure out the density, they can make safe assumptions about the planet. Which planet is the biggest in the solar system? Most astronomers agree, Rox's 42BB is the biggest planet we know of. It's about two and a half times as wide as Jupiter. This giant planet was first seen in 2013. It is thought to be in the Rho Ophiuchi cloud complex. Planets like this one are called Hot Jupiter. Jupiter is far from the Sun compared to the other planets in our solar system. There are more than 400 million miles between us and there. The rock's planet 42BB has a very short orbital period and is very close to its star. This suggests that the name of the planet comes from the fact that its surface is very hot. Because they move quickly around their stars, it is easier to find and measure hot Jupiters. Scientists are almost certain that Rox's 42BB is a planet which is more than can be said about other candidates. Things that aren't considered planets now could turn out to be the biggest in the universe. The size of an extrasolar planet called HD 100546b has been measured to be 6.9 RJ, 
but this object is more likely to be a brown dwarf than a planet, according to things like how heavy it is. To put it simply, HD 100546b is an extrasolar planet that is a gas giant and circles a B-type star. It is 53 astronomical units from its star, has a mass of 752 Jupiters, and takes 249.2 years to complete one orbit. Brown Dwarf Stars A brown dwarf is a third type of celestial body. On the astronomical scale, a brown dwarf is a celestial body that is between a planet and a star. A brown dwarf's average mass is less than 0.075 solar masses, which is about 75 times Jupiter's mass. This maximum mass is a bit higher for things with fewer heavy elements than the Sun. Even though these stars were much bigger than planets, they never got big enough for hydrogen to fuse in their cores. In other words, brown dwarfs are stars that get so small, they can no longer be called stars but stay big for most of their lives. There are a lot of brown dwarfs on lists of the biggest planets in the universe. They look like planets, but they are not planets. The top spot is Rox's 42BB, a planet with a very high level of confidence that it is a planet among the scientific community. Planets and brown dwarfs also are interesting to learn more about. We have been calling something a brown dwarf, but it could turn out to be a planet or the other way around. When we look at the Sun, Earth, and Jupiter all together, we can figure out which planet is the biggest. A huge gas giant's diameter is 43,441 miles, and it weighs almost 317 times as much as Earth. The Earth, on the other hand, is not a brown dwarf. Most small brown dwarfs are at least 20% bigger than our planet. In simple terms, Jupiter is a big ball of gas. What is the biggest planet in your night sky? Tell us in the comments. Leave us a like and subscribe for more videos like this.